What did you want America to know about your husband as he spoke last night, and did, did it resonate in your judgment? You know, um, I, I was um, very, very touched last night, as were my children, because I think for the first time, if you watch the whole evening, and I know the, the American audience maybe didn't see all of that, where there are people in our lives, in our past, earlier life that um, spoke up and talked about the guy that I know, that I love, and the side of him that um, I cherish. And that was how Mitt was there for people in time of need. We had Ted Oprowski and his beautiful wife Pat talking about how when their 14-year-old son David was dying of cancer, how Mitt was there visiting him in the hospital frequently and helping this boy. And that was before there were any cameras or any lights. There was another story by Pam Finn Layson and um, how Mitt was there again for her when her little baby girl was born three months premature and how uh, Mitt was such a rock in their life and their difficult hours. There's story after story after story of those circumstances and, and events that happened in our life that um, people do not know about. Um, and I think that's when I talked in my speech about how Mitt does not do these things for a political talking point, and he doesn't talk about them. But I was so glad that other people spoke up and talked about those things that Mitt has done in his life. And that's what I wanted people to see, is that other side of him. Nora O'Donnell is with us. Hi, good morning.